But I said that I had a dream about all of this and I'm not so sure how the dream matches with the autistic experience. I just have a feeling that it does. And so I, a part of me wants to wait until I can articulate it so that I could just say the whole thing neatly presented. Um, but part of me realises it's part of this story and other people will likely be able to put their finger on what it is. So I'll just tell it to you in its sort of raw form and leave it to you to make the connections. So um, the, the films that you've seen so far are about, the first one is about um, a medical exam that I had where consent wasn't sought and how that triggered lots of memories for me of experiences I've had where my consent has been overridden or you know people have done things to my body without me wanting them to and I have multiples of those experiences and I pointed out that that's not a, a special thing for me a pretty standard thing for autistic people especially autistic women and autistic girls intersectional experience and then I talked about in the second film I talked about where that vulnerability comes from and pointed out that part of it not all of it by any means but part of it is created by um, adults in positions of responsibility trusted adults taking ownership of people's bodies and doing things with their bodies because that models a situation that says it's okay for somebody to move your body, it's okay for somebody to do something with your body that you didn't choose to do and if you teach people that that's okay then that makes them more vulnerable to experiences where people abuse that power. And then I said that I've had lots of messages from people who've had similar experiences and it's one thing knowing on paper that your experience is an experience of a group it's another thing reading all the different individual experiences and I really appreciate everybody who messaged me and I really feel it I, I get it I understand we understand each other so there's a strength in that community as well but I'm so sorry that you all had those experiences too and some of the people were pointing to the experience of giving consent because consent was the expected social response rather than giving consent because they consented. And so I was talking about how there is a misunderstanding that just because you can understand what's being said to you and you can use words that that makes consent easy to get and receive and when I work with people with profound intellectual disability and look for ways of seeking consent we spend a lot more time and effort figuring out if it is what somebody wants or wills because we can't just rely on a simple yes no so there's a sort of a complicating factor there and then I said that all of this thinking this week made me have a dream about consent so this is the one where it doesn't quite fit together, but I thought if I tell you the dream, maybe you fit it together. So in the dream, um, somebody, I was just in a kind of general social situation, and somebody grabbed me. Um, and that's a pretty ordinary situation in my past experience. There's multiple times that I've been just grabbed like that. Um, in fact it's so ordinary I don't think I can recall all of them like a few, a few standout ones like a, a, like one in a I can think of particular places but I'm more remembering those because the places were unusual than the experience was unusual and partly that's um, because when I was younger things like that were more ordinary and less challenged and yeah anyway in the dream somebody grabbed me and unlike in any of my past experiences in the dream, I turned around to this person and went, just like looked at them like, and they went, oh, sorry, sorry. And I just like, I raged, I was like, fuck off with your sorries, you have had it with your, and I was so, so angry with them in a way that I am never angry 
in life. I just, how dare you? Go away with your stories. I am done with your stories. This is a no. And I actually woke myself up because the back of my neck hurt so much from just like being angry with them. And um, yeah, I woke, I woke myself up. And I was telling my husband, And I was saying, oh, it's, it's, it's like some part of me, some subconscious part of me is beginning to recognise that these things were wrong. And I was thinking back through the experiences that provide the source material for that dream. And in every one of the experiences that I can remember, what I've done in that moment is act to protect the person who did that to me. So like one of the ones I can remember, I was in a nightclub with my husband and somebody just walked past and just grabbed me. And I was really, initially I was worried that my husband would see and then be cross with this person. And then I foolishly made a joke about it to somebody and my husband overheard and he was like, who? Who did that to you? Where? What did they look like? And I was very, very careful not to give any identifying information so that this chap wouldn't get hurt. Um, and another time uh, at a, a hotel, a member of staff did something to me and I was very, very careful not to tell the person that I was on that holiday with until we were on the plane on the way home because I knew that that person would have been cross about it. And that's something worth pointing out is that although all the perpetrators in these stories are boys, there have always been boys who would protect me. In, in all these situations there's always been and I have lots of situations in which strangers have protected me um, in which men I don't know have have protected me so it's not a uh, men a bad thing in my experience the vast majority of men are very very good it's just there are these situations that are very unfortunate and in all of these situations whenever I've experienced them I've acted to make sure the person who did it to me didn't get in trouble. But with the consent thing at the hospital appointment, I put in a complaint. And I was saying to my husband, I think maybe I'm having this dream because I've stood up for myself this time. And I wouldn't normally do that. But I, it had so bothered me that what happened to me in that appointment could have happened to somebody younger than me You're like I'm an old lady now doesn't really matter who sees what or like it's all been seen before <laughs> there's, there's no mystery left after having two children is there like I was like what if it is somebody younger or what if it's somebody with more trauma than me with more awful memories than my memories like I have a lot of grotty experiences but but there are bigger and worse experiences than I've had and that I'm very fortunate that I've had a couple of narrow escapes of some of those but I don't have those memories and what if it had been somebody who did have those memories in those in that moment and that's why I put the complaint in because I want to protect the people more vulnerable than me and my husband listened and then he was like no like that's not that's not right, that's not, he said, I don't see why it should have to be somebody more vulnerable than you, like, it counts that it happened to you, it doesn't have to be more important, it doesn't, doesn't have to have been a more severe thing, it just shouldn't happen, like, you shouldn't ever have your consent overruled, and nobody has a right to touch you when you didn't say that they could and it's like I said at the top I don't fully get the connection with autism here but I think if I was to guess it's something about when you get the social situation wrong so many times wrong you're so concerned with getting it right that that takes priority over other things and not upsetting people takes priority over other things and not making a fuss 
takes priority over other things. And all of those things are silencing, you know, to, to put the complaint in feels like you've really made a fuss and it takes, it took spoons to do it and I did it because I had the spoons and I did it because I was imagining people who had less spoons and, and less capacity. Um, but yeah, there's, there's something there. Maybe you can put it together. 